I am so pleased to be here to have this conversation with all of you all and to share this with our employees. I think that as humans, um, we're imperfect. Um, there's no right thing to say. There's no right thing to feel. What we feel is what is true to us. And so I wanted to start our conversation off by just talking about us and how we're feeling and how we're doing. Um, and then to also give some specific guidance to the folks who are watching this video um, and to our employees who right now may be feeling confused, hurt, um, and not quite sure what to say or what to do. Nicole, you're a mother, you're a daughter. You've actually not only given the talk to your daughter, you've received it from your mother. How are you processing through all of this? Thank you, Angela. I'll share, you know, it, it's very difficult. It's a very difficult time. And, and just for those who may not know what the talk is, the talk is really something that happens in black and brown households when your parents sit you down to have a conversation with you about how to navigate through this world very differently because of the color of your skin. And I remember my first talk with my parents happened when I moved and we were the first black family to move into an all white neighborhood. And at seven years old, I experienced racism for the very first time and being called the N word over and over and over again. Not really understanding why people hated me for being different. And so my parents sat me down and said, you know, you are going to have to work twice as hard as others to achieve things because of the color of your skin you are going to have to make sure that you're not boastful around your accomplishments because of the color of your skin. You need to treat people with kindness, respect, and make sure that you are not coming across as an angry black woman. And so all of those things I took to heart and I found myself with my own daughter having the same conversations. Um, and her talk actually included having a conversation with her father, who happens to be a police officer, and having the conversation around when she got her license, role playing with her around what to do when she got stopped by the police. What you do with your hands, the tone of voice you use, and it wasn't about getting her out of a ticket. It was about making sure my baby could come home. And so it is very hard. It's very hard for me. And what I will share, though, is how proud I am to work for a company like Voya. Voya is committed to diversity and inclusion. We've heard from our leaders, from Rod, from Kevin. We are a company that cares about our employees. And I've had the opportunity to speak to several of them through this time period, several of our managers who want to have these conversations and want to help each other during this very trying time. And that's what we're here to do.